here are today's news headlines. Policeman arrested after being held with ganja at police station. Three teens arrested over bus park stabbing in St. Anne. Man who allegedly injured woman during burglary get extended bail and cop shot to one fatal during reported break-in in downtown. Details coming up after the break. 28-year-old police constable assigned to the guard room at the Montego Bay Police Station in St. James has been arrested on reasonable suspicion of possession and dealing in ganja. The constable was found with contraband and cash on the police station's compound on Friday. He was reportedly seated in his car when a search was conducted by cops. Thousands of dollars and a host of contrabands were reportedly uncovered during the search. He is expected to be formally charged. Teens were arrested on Saturday over the stabbing of a 15-year-old boy at the Brownstown Bus Park in St. Anne. The injured boy remains hospitalized. Those arrested are being held on suspicion of wounding with intent. It is reported that about 8 p.m. the 15-year-old was at the bus park when a dispute developed between him and the three other teens ages 14, 15, and 16. A knife was brought into play and he was stabbed several times in the upper body. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share. Hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you the latest. A construction worker who was pointed out as the man who allegedly broke into a woman's house and injured her during the disturbance in Kingsvale, Hanover in 2022 had his bail extended until March 8. Leroy Baker, who is charged with burglary and unlawful wounding, appeared in the Hanover Parish Court on Thursday. Prosecutors informed the court that a further statement from the complainant is being sought to determine how the matter will proceed. The March date was subsequently set for the additional statement to be collected. It was alleged that in December 22, the complainant was asleep at her home when she heard a crashing sound in the living room. The woman went to investigate and saw a man whom she had seen before. She raised an alarm but was assaulted in the process. The man later escaped through a back door. A report was made to the police and a probe was subsequently launched. Baker was subsequently arrested and was later pointed out during an identification parade. Charges were then laid against him by the police. Men were shot by police, one fatally, on Sunday morning in the Market District of downtown Kingston after they were reportedly caught by the police breaking into a business establishment. According to the head of the Kingston Central Police, Superintendent Beresford Williams, the police were alerted to a break-in on Beckford Street and on their arrival, they were fired up by men in the area. The law enforcers reported they returned the fire at the end of the shooting. Two men were seen suffering from gunshot wounds. They were taken to the hospital where one of the men was pronounced dead and the other was admitted for treatment under police guard. A firearm and ammunition along with some stolen items were recovered at the scene, the police reported. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.